What's up everyone, this is Jacksot from Windows Phone Hacker and I'm just going to show you something real quick I figured out about the uh, Windows Phone emulator and running it on Ubuntu. Um, so I was reading over in the uh, Nokia developer wiki and I found an article about running the Windows Phone 8 SDK in a virtual machine. And I thought that was a little bit interesting because um, to my previous knowledge people were having issues with uh, running the emulator in a virtual machine due to the Hyper-V requirement. But as it turns out you can actually use uh, Windows Phone, I mean Windows 8 Pro and uh, VM Player, which is free, um, to virtualize uh, the Windows Phone 8 SDK with a working emulator on any host operating system. So here I have it running on Ubuntu, and we can go take a look at that real quick. Um, so here's my Windows 8 virtual machine, uh, which actually runs really, really fast, uh, which is pretty surprising. And uh, if I dive in, dive into the desktop, we can see the uh, the emulator here is running also at full speed within the emulator. So the setup of this is really, really easy and takes pretty much no expertise whatsoever. All you do is um, create a virtual machine as you would uh, normally. They, in the instructions that are linked to, uh, to the developer wiki, um, they say to use uh, VMware Workstation 9. I used uh, VM Player, which is the free version. Basically, you create a virtual machine, give it whatever specs you want, install Windows 8 on it, install the SDK, or actually before you install the SDK you go and edit the uh, VMX file and all you do is add a line real quick um, let me see where it is all you do is add hypervisor.cpuid.v0 equals false just add that line to it, uh, save the file, open it up in uh, VM player and install the SDK and it'll work just right out of the box um, so that's really neat that uh, pretty much on any operating system you can have the Windows Phone 8 uh, SDK and emulator running at full speed to develop on. So whether you have Ubuntu or Mac OS X or whatever, you can use the Windows Phone 8 SDK. So if you have any questions about my setup and how this all works, be sure to let me know. Um, there's a link to how, the, how to get this set up um, over at the uh, Nokia Developer Wiki in the video description and on my website. Um, other than that, have a great day.